guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the Paley Center for Paley Fest Fall Previews. We're talking to the cast of From Dust Till Dawn and Lucha Underground. Hi, Rafael. Nice to meet you. I'm Denise. It's an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you know, it's so awesome to see you out here today. You know, having been in the business for 30 years, 33, 30, 30, 33 years, oh, man. You're counting. We got it. I love that you're counting. You have a good, a good calendar on that, right? Yeah. Being in the being in the business for over 30 years, yeah. you know, are you surprised that it took this long for a full-fledged lucha promotion to be successful here in the United States? No, not at all. I mean, the the business of wrestling uh, it goes in a cycle, and it usually trends what's popular at the moment. So let's go to the late 80s, late early 90s. Certain guys from Mexico were getting out into the world. So Lucha Libre has been kind of floating around and then that guy would do one move. So then the other companies, the guys would start copying that move. And then it would go like this. So Lucha Libre has been out there. To have a full-fledged Lucha Libre company now, um, I think it's just the evolution of not just wrestling. I think it's social media in general. And culturally, um, it's part of the hip-hop, punk rock, do-it-yourself thing, backyard. Uh, it's yours, um, bleed for me. I think it's just it's just what's needed today. Fans want something different. So uh, when when you're hungry and you eat spaghetti every day, kind of gets bland. But when you're still hungry and somebody gives you a pizza, well, it's a different meal, right? Kind of, you know, that's kind of what it's like. And we're doing really good, man. People love it. We love it. And I, I think it's just uh, it's gonna snowball. Having worked in so many companies, what is it that you think Lucha Underground should do that maybe they haven't done yet to get to that next, next level? Um, I kind of been treating, uh, like I, my role in the company, uh, in the production side of things and that, it's kind of like a jazz song. So if you were a jazz guitar player, you're going to discover those notes when you're playing live depending on the reaction of the people at that time. So. If we keep going on the energy of the fans and we keep building off of that where it's a give and take, um, I don't think that there's something we can do specifically. The more that we involve the people, the better off we are. So I think it's just going to evolve. We're going into uncharted territories, so that's the good thing. And we're seeing that a lot, you know, throughout many companies that are evolving and taking it to that next step. Evolving or copying? What? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, everybody's copying. That's just the way it is. It's the way the world works. Nirvana came out, there was three million grunge bands. Lucha Underground is dominating. It doesn't matter how hard you try to copy it or how much money you dump into a poor version. You're not going to get it because it's made by the people for the people. You can't pay people to give compassion and passion. It's got to come from the heart. That's what we got. You ain't going to get it. So. Come and see us, help us grow, and we'll give you what you want. You know, speaking to the people, what the people really want is good wrestling, and that's what we have. You know, you bring in, we're, the Lucha Underground is bringing a lot of wrestlers from, you know, AAA. Um, I have to ask you, which AAA wrestlers would you like to see right now jump board to Lucha Underground? There's not just AAA guys. There's guys all over the world. Um, the new generation that's being inspired by what we're, by what we're doing is phenomenal. I mean... There is something that's going to be announced really soon, and I'm going to be the guy in charge of it. If you want a shot in Lucha Underground or AAA, if you want to get there, talk to me. I'm going to be the new guy who's going to be helping a lot of things. I can't really say officially what it is, but it's big. Um, in saying that, if anybody has ever held you down in this business, or you never got a fair shot, or you're trying to play the political game and you just can't do it, call me. I will help you, and I will get you a shot. How's that? That's perfect, Rampiro. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. And in the comments below, let me know which show you're most looking forward to on the Outray Network.